The theater was hushed, the velvet curtains still as Samantha Ray stood frozen in the wings, heart pounding a staccato beat against her ribs. This was it. Her moment. The role she'd bled and wept and sacrificed for, the mantle pass from mother to daughter in an unbroken line of dance. Giselle. The beautiful peasant girl driven to madness and death by love's betrayal. Betrayal. Dot. The word tasted bitter on Samantha's tongue as her eyes cut to the lavish bouquet of red roses perched on the prop table nearby. The same bouquet she'd seen clutched in her sister Vivian's greedy hands not an hour before. The same bouquet that proved the unthinkable. Liam, her Liam the tortured dancer, who'd swept into her life like a dark poet and lit her soul aflame, was Vivian's ex. And now, on the cusp of her greatest triumph, it was all falling apart. Her dream role, her aching heart, the fragile bonds of blood and memory that held the Ray women together by the most fraying of threads. All shattered on the whims of a reckless, damaged prodigal sister and a coldly ambitious mother who held all their fates between her perfectly manicured fingers. The orchestra swelled, the overture rising to its feverish crescendo. The curtain twitched, ready to rise. And Samantha closed her eyes, the magnitude of all she stood to lose crashing over her in waves. Her destiny, her art, her great love, or her family, fractured and flawed as it was. The stage manager hissed her cue, his headset crackling with static. Places! Curtain up in five, four. Samantha opened her eyes, decision crystallizing with diamond-sharp clarity. She had to dance had to claim her rightful place in the spotlight no matter the cost, even if it meant cutting out her own treacherous heart. She stepped onto the stage, the heat of the lights caressing her face like a lover's breath. The curtain rose, and Samantha began to dance, the shattered reflections of her life whirling around her in a storm of satin and tears, vengeance, and longing, all playing out on a stage of tragic proportions with no way of knowing if the final act would bring triumph or despair. All she knew was that this was her battle to fight. Her pain to choreograph. Her legacy to secure. The thunderous applause echoed in Samantha's ears as she took her final bow, the stage lights dappling her sweat-dampened skin like shards of stained glass. Triumph swelled in her chest, heady and intoxicating. She had danced like never before, each pirouette and jeté fueled by the raw emotions churning inside her. The audience had felt it too, their tear-streaked faces and shouts of brava, testament to the power of her performance. But as the curtain fell and the house lights came up, reality crashed over Samantha like a frigid wave. Liam dot, Vivian dot, her mother's machinations, the shattered pieces of her life that lay in wait beyond the stage door. She barely registered the congratulations of her fellow dancers as she stumbled to her dressing room, the adrenaline of the performance giving way to a bone-deep exhaustion. With trembling fingers, she stripped off her sweat-soaked costume, the delicate tool tearing under her roughness. A knock sounded at the door, and she froze, heart in her throat. Liam dot, dial waned. It had to be. Come to explain, to beg forgiveness, to... Samantha. Her mother's voice, cold and imperious as ever, opened the door. Samantha's stomach plummeted. She'd hoped to avoid this confrontation, at least until morning. But Natalia Ray was not a woman to be kept waiting. Stealing herself, Samantha cracked open the door to reveal her mother's sharp boned face, still stunningly beautiful at 55. Natalia swept into the room in a cloud of Chanel and disdain, her critical gaze raking over Samantha's disheveled appearance. You were magnificent tonight, Natalia said, but there was no warmth in the words. A true prima ballerina. Worthy of taking over the company. Samantha's heart leapt at the rare praise, even as suspicion coiled in her gut. Thank you, mother. I... Which is why it pains me to tell you this. Natalia cut her off with a wave of her hand. But I'm afraid there's been a change of plans. I won't be passing the torch to you after all. The world tilted under Samantha's feet. What? But you promised. I've worked my whole life for this. And you've made me very proud. 
Natalia's voice was clipped, businesslike. But recent events have forced my hand. Vivian's struggles have shown me that she needs something to anchor her. A purpose. And what better purpose than carrying on the family legacy? Vivian. Hi. Of course. Her wild, reckless sister, forever leaving a trail of chaos in her wake. The prodigal daughter returned to snatch Samantha's birthright from her very fingertips. Vivian's a liability, Samantha snapped, nails biting into her palms. She has no discipline, no work ethic. She'll run the company into the ground, which is why she'll need a strong partner to keep her in check. Natalia arched one perfect brow. Congratulations, Samantha. Dot. You've just been promoted to assistant artistic director. Assistant. Dot. The word was a slap, a degradation, a far cry from the crown she'd been groomed for since birth. Tears stung Samantha's eyes, fury and despair warring in her chest. You can't do this to me. I won't stand for it. You'll stand for whatever I tell you to stand for. Natalia's composure cracked, revealing the steel beneath. I've given you everything. Your talent, your drive, your very name. Without me, you're nothing. Just another washed-up dancer with broken toes and shattered dreams. She advanced on Samantha, backing her against the dressing room door. Is that what you want? To end up bitter and alone, watching younger, fresher dancers take the roles that should have been yours? Samantha shook her head mutely, hot tears spilling down her cheeks. I thought not. Natalia stepped back, smoothing an invisible wrinkle from her silk blouse. The announcement will be made tomorrow. I expect you to be there smiling and gracious. For the sake of the company. And with that, she was gone. The sharp click of her heels fading down the hallway. Samantha slid to the floor, a broken marionette with cut strings. Everything she'd fought for, bled for, dreamed of since she was a little girl in her first pair of point shoes, gone. Snatched away by the two people she loved and loathed in equal measure. A choked sob tore from her throat, muffled by her hands. She couldn't let them see her like this, weak and wounded. She was Samantha Ray, damn it. Rising star of the ballet world. She would find a way to reclaim her destiny, to dance her way to the top, no matter the cost. Even if it meant squaring off against her own flesh and blood. A tentative knock sounded at the door, softer this time. Samantha scrubbed at her tears with the back of her hand. If it was her mother again, or God forbid Vivian, come to gloat. Samantha? Are you there? Liam. Why? The smoky silk of his voice seeped under her skin, past flesh and bone to wrap around her aching heart. She shouldn't let him in. Shouldn't let him see the bleeding ruin Natalia had made of her with a few cutting words. But she needed him, craved the solid heat of him the steadiness he brought to her churning world. Willing her limbs to cooperate, she pushed to her feet and cracked open the door. Liam, dot, unity. I, now's not a good time. I, heard about Vivian. His ocean eyes were soft with sympathy, with a shared pain that squeezed her heart. Samantha, I'm so sorry. If I had known she would do this, you'd have what? Stopped her. Samantha shook her head bitterly. No one stops Vivian when she wants something. I should have told you about our history. It was cowardly of me to keep it from you, I know. But it meant nothing. I swear it. He reached for her, but she flinched away, hugging her arms to her chest. The fact that you kept it a secret tells me it meant something. Her voice wavered. God, she hated this. Hated feeling small and hurt and taken for granted when all she wanted was to lose herself in the poetry of his body against hers. How can I trust you now? Because I love you. The words stopped her cold, stole the breath from her lungs. He stepped closer, tipping up her chin with gentle fingers. Not Vivian. Not anyone else. You, Samantha Ray. You're in my blood, in my bones and I'll do whatever it takes to prove it to you. She wanted to believe him. Wanted it so badly, she shook with it. But the sting of betrayal was still too raw, the wounds too fresh. I can't do this right now. She stepped back, 
breaking his hold. I uh, just... I need time to process everything. Hurt flickered in his eyes, but he nodded. I understand. But I'm not going anywhere, Samantha. I'll be here whenever you're ready. With one last, lingering look, he was gone, leaving her alone with the shattered pieces of her heart. Samantha pressed her fist to her mouth, holding back the scream building in her throat. First Vivian, now Liam, was there no one she could trust? No one who wouldn't betray her in the end? Anger crystallized in her chest, cold and sharp as cut glass. Enough tears. Enough wallowing. It was time to take back control, to show them all what Samantha Ray was made of. Starting with Vivian. Her sister wanted a war? Fine, Dottie. She'd give her one. And this time, there could only be one victor left standing on the stage. Samantha stood, squaring her shoulders in the dressing room mirror. No more shattered reflections. No more broken dreams. She was done playing the wounded ingenue. The studio was quiet, the only sound the soft swish of Samantha's ballet skirt as she moved through the familiar steps of her warm-up routine. Plié, tendu, dégagé, donne. The movements were as natural to her as breathing, a physical meditation that normally calmed the chaos in her mind. But not today. Today, every stretch and bend was laced with a simmering rage, an itch under her skin that demanded action. Retribution. She had tossed and turned all night, memories of her mother's cutting words, and Liam's soft confessions chasing each other in an endless loop. By the time Dawn crept pale fingers across her bedroom ceiling, a plan had taken shape. A way to prove to everyone, her mother, Vivian, the whole damn dance world, that she was more than just a pretty face with flawless technique. She was a force to be reckoned with, and it was time they all remembered that. The studio door banged open, jolting her from her reverie. Vivian sauntered in, all tousled hair and smudged eyeliner, a far cry from Samantha's pinned-back perfection. Well, well, if it isn't the has-been. Vivian smirked, dropping her bag with a thud. Surprised to see you here, sis. Figured you'd be off licking your wounds somewhere. Samantha gritted her teeth, refusing to rise to the bait. Some of us still take our craft seriously. Not that you'd know anything about that. Vivian clutched her chest in mock hurt. Ouch. Kitty's got claws. She kicked off her street shoes, not bothering with ballet slippers. Face it, Sammy. I won. You can pirouette until your toes bleed, but at the end of the day, I'm the one calling the shots now. We'll see about that. Samantha stepped into Vivian's space, gratified when her sister blinked in surprise. Enjoy playing queen while you can, but don't get too comfortable on that throne. I'll be coming for it sooner than you think. With that, she whirled away, executing a perfect series of fouette turns. Let Vivian chew on that for a while. Mind games were more her sister's style, but hey, if you can't beat them... The rest of the company began trickling in, shooting curious glances at the tense tableau of the Ray sisters on opposite sides of the studio. Samantha ignored them all, losing herself in the music, the burn of her muscles. This was what mattered. Not petty politics or familial betrayals, but the work. The art. She would show them all what true greatness looked like. And she'd do it on her own terms. As the day wore on and rehearsals kicked into high gear, Samantha threw herself into the choreography with a ferocity that left everyone stunned. Even Madame Petrova, their notoriously hard-to-impress ballet mistress, gave a nod of grudging approval. Vivian, on the other hand, slouched in the corner, picking at her nails and yawning pointedly whenever Samantha nailed a particularly difficult sequence. It made Samantha's blood boil. How could her mother expect this spoiled, undisciplined brat to run a world-class ballet company? It was laughable. Infuriating. By the time rehearsal ended, Samantha's muscles screamed and her feet throbbed, but a grim satisfaction burned in her chest. She had danced circles around Vivian today and everyone knew it. Including, it seemed, Vivian herself. As the other dancers filed out, chattering and laughing, 
Vivian cornered Samantha by the mirrors, her green eyes sparking with malice. Think you're hot shit, don't you? She hissed, prancing around like you own the place. Samantha lifted her chin, refusing to be cowed. I'm just doing my job. Not my fault if you can't keep up. Vivian's lip curled. Oh, I can keep up. And I can play dirty, too. She leaned in close, her breath hot on Samantha's cheek. You have no idea what I'm capable of, sister mine. The things I know, the secrets I've kept. A chill skittered down Samantha's spine. What are you talking about? Hmm, let's see. Does the name David Winslow ring any bells? The bottom dropped out of Samantha's stomach. David Winslow. Her first love, her first heartbreak, dot dot. The scandal that had nearly ruined her, all those years ago. Ah, I see it does. Vivian's smile was pure venom. Wonder what would happen if those old skeletons came dancing out of the closet. What would precious Liam think of his perfect, untouchable Samantha then? Samantha reeled back as if slapped. You wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? Vivian examined her chipped nail polish. I don't know, sis. I'm getting kind of tired of living in your shadow. Maybe it's time for some of those shadows to see the light of day. Red tinged the edges of Samantha's vision. She lunged for Vivian, hands curled into claws, only to be yanked back by a pair of strong, familiar arms. Liam Dyine. Whoa, easy. His low voice rumbled through her, equal parts soothing and inflaming. She's not worth it, Samantha. Vivian's tinkling laugh grated on Samantha's last nerve. Better listen to lover boy, sis. Wouldn't want to do anything you'll regret. With a final, knowing smirk, she flounced from the room, leaving destruction in her wake, as always. Samantha slumped in Liam's hold, all the fight draining out of her. Damn Vivian. Damn her for knowing just which wounds to reopen, which scars to poke at until Samantha was a quivering mess. Hey. Liam turned her to face him, his thumbs stroking the angry flush from her cheekbones. Don't let her get to you. She's just trying to rattle you. Well, it's working. Samantha blew out a shaky breath. Liam, there are things about me. Dya, things you don't know. So tell me. His ocean eyes were steady on hers. No judgment, only a bottomless understanding. Samantha, I meant what I said last night. I love you. All of you, past and present. There's nothing you could say that would change that. Tears burned the back of her throat. God, she wanted to believe him. But the ghosts of her past were a heavy shroud, one she'd never quite been able to shake. Gently, she extricated herself from his embrace. I wish it were that simple. But some stains just don't wash clean. She swiped at her eyes, hating the quaver in her voice. I need to handle this, Liam. On my own. Before Vivian destroys everything I've worked for. Liam frowned, but nodded. I understand. Just be careful, okay? I meant what I said about not going anywhere, and I'll be here if you need me. Always. He pressed a lingering kiss to her forehead, the tenderness of it nearly her undoing. Then with a last worried glance, he slipped out of the studio, leaving her alone with the wreckage of her thoughts. Samantha hugged her arms around herself, the splintered shards of her reflection staring back at her from the mirrors. So much for reclaiming her destiny. All it had taken was a few well-placed barbs from Vivian, and she was right back where she'd started. Broken. The end. But as she stared into her own haunted eyes, a new resolve hardened in her chest. No. She refused to let Vivian win. Refused to let her mother's machinations and her sister's cruelty break her. She was Samantha Damray, and she had clawed her way out of deeper hells than this. If Vivian wanted to play dirty, fine. Two could tango down that dark path. First things first, she needed to get ahead of this David Winslow mess. Needed to make sure the sordid tale never saw the light of day. And for that, she needed information. She needed to track down David himself. Her mind spun, a plan taking shape. It was risky, reckless even. The kind of scheme Vivian herself might cook up. But Samantha was out of options. She had to fight fire with fire. 
had to become the very thing she despised in order to save the thing she loved most. Her art. Her destiny. Even if it meant burning every bridge and selling every piece of her soul along the way. With grim determination, Samantha gathered her things and stalked out of the studio. The click of her heels, a war drum, a promise. Watch out, Vivian. Big sister's coming for you. And this time, she plays to win. No matter the cost. The seedy downtown bar was a far cry from the glittering world of ballet. All sticky floors and dingy corners that hadn't seen the kiss of sunlight in decades. Samantha's skin crawled as she pushed through the throng of bodies, the stench of stale beer and desperation thick in her nostrils. But this was where her intel had led her. Where David Winslow, once the rising star of the ballet world, now spent his nights drowning his sorrows and shattered dreams. She spotted him hunched over the bar, his once proud dancer's posture reduced to a slumped resignation. Her heart clenched. She had done this to him, as surely as if she'd taken a sledgehammer to those finely sculpted legs herself. Stealing her spine, she slid onto the stool beside him. Hello, David. His head snapped up, bloodshot eyes widening in disbelief. Samantha? What the hell are you doing here? I needed to see you. She signaled the bartender for a drink, anything to occupy her trembling hands. To talk about, about what happened. With us. A harsh laugh ripped from his throat. Oh, now you want to talk? That's rich. He tossed back the remainder of his whiskey, slamming the glass down with a force that made her flinch. Where was all this chatter five years ago, huh? When you were busy destroying my life? Guilt, old and festering, clawed at her throat. David, I'm sorry. What I did, it was unforgivable. But I was scared. Scared of my mother of losing everything I'd worked for. And I was collateral damage. The bitterness in his voice could have stripped paint. The sacrificial lamb on the altar of your ambition. Tears stung the backs of her eyes. I never meant to hurt you. I swear it. I loved you, David. But you loved yourself more. He shook his head, a twisted mockery of a smile on his lips. The great Samantha Ray. Always leaping for the stars no matter who she crushes underfoot. Samantha flinched, each word a lash against her already bleeding heart. I'm not that girl anymore, David. I've changed. Have you? He peered at her, a dark sort of amusement glinting in his gaze. Because from where I'm sitting, you're still the same ruthless ballerina who'd sell her own soul for center stage. Samantha opened her mouth to protest, but the words died on her tongue. Because he was right wasn't he? Here she was, dredging up the most painful pieces of their shared past, all to gain the upper hand against Vivian. Was she really any different from the ambitious ingenue who'd thrown David to the wolves to save her own skin? Shame burned her cheeks, chased by a simmering self-loathing. God, what had she become? David must have seen the despair on her face because his expression softened just a fraction. Why are you really here, Samantha? And don't say closure. We both know that ship sailed long ago. Samantha took a deep, shuddering breath. Moment of truth. I need your help, David. Vivian, she, she's threatening to go public with what happened between us. To use it to destroy me. Understanding dawned in his eyes, followed by a weary sort of resignation. And you want me to, what? Bury the skeletons? Pretend it never happened. I know I have no right to ask. Samantha blinked back the tears that threatened to fall. But this ballet company, it's my life. My birthright. I can't let Vivian take that from me. Not like this. For a long, agonizing moment, David was silent, his gaze boring into her like a physical touch. Then, slowly, he reached out and covered her hand with his own. I loved you too, you know he said softly. More than the dance, more than my own dreams. I would have given it all up for you, Samantha. A solitary tear traced down her cheek. I know. And I'll regret throwing that away for the rest of my life. He squeezed her fingers once, then released her. I'll talk to Vivian. Make sure she understands that what's past is past, and should stay buried. 
His smile was sad, wistful. Consider it my final pas de deux for the girl I used to know. Relief, sharp and sweet, flooded Samantha's chest. Thank you, David. Truly, I don't deserve your kindness. No, you don't. He tossed a few bills on the bar and stood, shrugging into his coat. But I'm giving it anyway. Because, despite it all, some part of me will always be that love-struck boy who would have laid the world at your feet. He pressed a chaste kiss to her forehead, a benediction and a farewell all in one. Then he was gone, vanishing into the faceless crowd and leaving Samantha alone with the jagged pieces of her past. She downed her drink in one burning gulp, relishing the sting of it against her raw throat. One crisis averted. But the war was far from one. She needed to get back to the studio, back to the battle for her legacy. And this time, she wouldn't be pulling any punches. As she stepped out into the grimy New York night, her phone buzzed with an incoming text. Frowning, she swiped it open then nearly dropped it in shock. It was from her mother. Two words that stopped her heart cold. I know. Fingers shaking, she typed back a response. No what? The three dots of Natalia's reply seemed to mock her, an ominous ellipsis. Then, everything. The real reason I chose Vivian over you. It's time we had a talk, daughter mine. Come to the old studio. And come alone. Ice flooded Samantha's veins. The old studio. Where she'd first learned to dance, first tasted the forbidden fruit of ambition. The place where it had all begun. And now it seemed, the place where it would all come crashing down. Part of her longed to flee, to lose herself in the labyrinthine streets of the city and never look back. But a larger part, the part forged in steel and satin, knew she couldn't run from this. From her mother, from the twisted roots of her family tree, it was time to face the music. To dance this final deadly pas de dos to its inevitable end. With a resolve she didn't feel. Samantha hailed a cab and directed the driver to the old studio across town. Her personal ground zero dot I. She stared out the rain-spattered window, the neon smear of the city blurring before her eyes. Once more onto the breach, then. And damn the consequences. The cab pulled up to the curb, the crumbling brick facade of the studio looming like a specter in the darkness. Natalia's silver jag was already parked out front a sleek predator lying in wait. Samantha paid the driver and stepped out into the misty night, the click of her heels on the pavement a death knell, a drumbeat of dread. She pushed open the studio door, its ancient hinges shrieking a rusted welcome. And there, silhouetted against the wall of mirrors, stood her mother. Regal. What you know one? Resplendent. A dark queen in her lonely castle. Hello, Samantha. Natalia's voice was a silken purr, belying the steel beneath. So good of you to come. Samantha drew a steadying breath, her nails biting crescents into her palms. What's this about, mother? What do you know? Natalia smiled, a slow, serpentine curve of crimson lips. Oh, my darling girl. The question isn't what I know. She stepped closer, the spicy waft of her perfume enveloping Samantha like a velvet glove. It's what you don't. And with those cryptic words hanging in the air between them, Natalia began to speak, each revelation a dagger to Samantha's already bleeding heart. Samantha's world tilted on its axis as Natalia's words washed over her, each revelation a tidal wave crashing against the already crumbling shores of her reality. I never wanted children, you know, Natalia began, her voice distant, as if recounting a mildly interesting anecdote rather than the shattering of Samantha's very identity. Ballet was my one true love, my raison d'etre. But your father, he was persistent. Charming, in his way. He convinced me that we could have it all. The stage, the spotlight, and a family. She laughed, a brittle, bitter sound. What a fool I was to think I could divide my heart, my devotion. The dance is a jealous mistress, Samantha. She demands total surrender. Samantha shook her head, fighting the nausea that roiled in her gut. 
What are you saying, mother? That Vivian and I, we were mistakes? Obstacles, Natalia corrected, her gaze sharpening to flint. Roadblocks on my path to greatness. Oh, I played the doting mother well enough. Took you to your little classes, sewed your tutus, kissed your scraped knees. But all the while, I was dying inside. Withering in the shadows while you and your sister bloomed in the light. Tears burned Samantha's eyes, each word a barb in her heart. How could she have been so blind? So naive to the viper nesting in her own home? And then the accident. Natalia's voice dropped to a whisper, her eyes far away. Your father, gone in an instant. And me. Na na din. Free at last. Free to dance again. To reclaim my destiny. Horror, cold and oily, slithered down Samantha's spine. The accident. Mother, what did you do? Natalia's gaze snapped to hers, a slow, sly smile curving her lips. What I had to, darling. What any true artisty would do. I removed the obstacles in my way. The world spun, the floor tilting beneath Samantha's feet. Her father. Murdered. Sacrificed on the altar of her mother's ambition. Bai lazeared her throat, her knees buckling as the monstrous truth crashed over her. You see now, don't you? Natalia stepped closer, her shadow falling dark and heavy across Samantha's huddled form. Why I pitted you and Vivian against each other all these years. Why I pushed you, drove you, molded you into the perfect little prima donna. She crouched down, her fingers cold as they tipped Samantha's chin up, forcing their gazes to meet. I wanted you strong, Samantha. Strong enough to carry on my legacy. To be the star I never could. Samantha wrenched away, revulsion a living thing in her chest. I'm nothing like you, she spat. I love the dance, but I would never sacrifice my soul for it. Never destroy the people I claim to love. Natalia merely smiled, a pitying quirk of her lips. Oh, but aren't you? Look at what you've done, Samantha. The lives you've ruined. The hearts you've broken. Her gaze flicked meaningfully to the shadows behind Samantha. Dot. All for the sake of your precious place in the spotlight. Samantha whirled, her blood turning to ice in her veins as Vivian and Liam stepped into the light. Vivian, her face a mask of rage and betrayal. And Liam. Oh God, Liam. His ocean eyes brimming with a hurt so raw, it stole the very breath from Samantha's lungs. Viv. She whispered, staggering to her feet. Liam, please. It's not. I'm not what she says. Spare me, Samantha. Vivian's voice cracked like a whip, tears spilling down her porcelain cheeks. I heard it all. How you went crawling back to David. How you were willing to dredge up the past, all to get one over on me. She laughed, a jagged, broken sound. I may be the family screw-up but at least I own it. At least I don't pretend to be some pure-hearted ingenue while knifing everyone in the back. Each word landed like a blow, cracking the fragile edifice of Samantha's self-control. But it was Liam's silence, the quiet devastation etched into every line of his beautiful face, that finally shattered her. Liam dot. She reached for him, her fingers trembling. Please. You know me. Eh? <sighs> The real me. This, this isn't who I am. For a moment, he wavered, his hand twitching as if to meet hers halfway. But then his jaw hardened, his eyes shuttering like doors slamming closed. I thought I did, he said softly. I thought you were different, Samantha. Thought you were above the petty games and power plays? He shook his head, a wry, humorless smile twisting his lips. But you're just like them aren't you? Your mother, your sister. Pretty poison, all of you. Samantha's heart cracked clean down the middle, the pain of it driving her to her knees. This couldn't be happening. Couldn't be real. It had to be a nightmare, some cruel trick of her subconscious. But the cold bite of the studio floor against her palms, the hot sting of tears coursing down her cheeks. It was all brutally, viscerally real. Well done, mother. 
Vivian's voice seemed to come from far away, muffled by the roaring in Samantha's ears. You've finally broken her. Shattered her into so many pieces, even she can't put herself back together. A necessary evil, my darling. Natalia's cool fingers brushed Samantha's hair, a perverse mockery of comfort. We rays are made of stern stuff. She'll recover. And when she does, she'll be stronger. Harder. The black thorn in her veins will see to that. Blackthorn. The name sliced through the haze of grief shrouding Samantha's mind, a beacon in the darkness. Her grandmother's maiden name. The name that had started it all, generations ago. The cursed name. And suddenly, with a blinding clarity that stole her breath, Samantha understood. Understood the root of Natalia's ruthless ambition, her callous disregard for anything but the dance. It wasn't ego or even avarice. It was fear. Terror of the curse that had haunted their bloodline for so long, claiming Blackthorn women through madness and despair. Natalia had been running from it her whole life, sacrificing everything and everyone on her altar of success. In her twisted way, she truly believed she was protecting her daughters, toughening them up for the battle ahead, the battle against their own tainted blood. Slowly, Painfully, Samantha pushed to her feet, squaring her shoulders against the weight of her family's collective gaze. Her mother's cold calculation. Her sister's simmering resentment. And Liam. She couldn't look at Liam. Couldn't bear to see the shattered remnants of their love lying like broken glass at their feet. Instead, she turned to face her mother, a calm settling over her battered soul. The eye of the hurricane, the stillness at the center of the storm. All my life, she began, her voice steady despite the tears drying on her cheeks. I've danced to your tune, mother. Leapt and spun and bled for your approval, your validation. I thought the stage was my salvation. The only place I could be real, be seen. She shook her head, a humorless laugh bubbling up her throat. But I was wrong. The dance isn't my salvation or my prison. It's just a piece of me. One facet of the flawed, fractured prism that is Samantha Ray. Natalia frowned, confusion, and something almost like fear flickering in her eyes. What are you saying, Samantha? You can't just walk away. The company, your legacy, isn't mine, Samantha finished gently. It never was. It's yours, mother. I am. Uh, your dream, your burden. And it's time I stopped breaking my back trying to carry it. She turned to Vivian, her gaze softening. I'm sorry, Viv. Sorry for the games, the manipulation. The wedge I let Mother drive between us. She reached out, tentatively brushing a fiery curl from her sister's damp cheek. But it ends now. The curse, the rivalry, the lies. It all ends here. We can be free, sister mine. Free of the past, of the poison in our veins. If we just... Let go. For a heartbeat, Vivian stared at her, green eyes shimmering with an ocean of unspoken hurts. Then, wonder of wonders, she cracked a smile. A small, tremulous thing, but real. Warm, Benny Awadding. Well, she said, her voice thick with tears. That was a hell of a closing monologue, sis. You sure you're in the right business? Broadway is always looking for fresh blood. A watery laugh burst from Samantha's lips, and she yanked Vivian into a fierce hug, burying her face in her sister's hair. For the first time in longer than she could remember, she felt the frayed threads of their bond begin to mend, knitting back together in a clumsy but unbreakable weave. Ungrateful wretches, Natalia hissed, shattering the moment. After all I've done, all I've sacrificed, this is how you repay me. By abandoning your destinies? Your duties? Samantha pulled back from Vivian's embrace, turning to face the woman who had once been the center of her universe. The sun around which she orbited, desperately seeking warmth and light. But now, stripped of her power, her iron control. Natalia just looked small. Diminished? A frightened little girl playing dress-up in a costume two sizes too big? You sacrificed nothing, mother, Samantha said softly. You reaped. Reaped the dreams and souls of everyone around you, 
all to feed the insatiable beast of your own ego. She stepped forward, taking her mother's cold hands in her own. But it doesn't have to be this way. You can let go, too. Stop running from the curse and face it. Embrace the cracks in your armor, the fault lines in your foundation. For a moment, just a moment, something shifted in Natalia's gaze. A softening, a yielding. The barest flicker of the woman she might have been had fear not calcified her heart to stone. But it was gone as quickly as it had come, shutters slamming down behind her eyes. You're weak, she whispered, wrenching her hands away. Soft? Just like your father. He never had the spine for true greatness either. She turned on her heel, spine ramrod straight as she marched towards the door. You're no daughter of mine, Samantha Ray. You never were. And with that final poison-tipped barb, she was gone. A queen dethroned, a legend unmasked, leaving nothing but ashes and echoes in her wake. For a long, painful beat, silence reigned, the ragged edges of Samantha's soul flapping like torn silk in the wind. Then, Samantha, dot, Liam's voice, low and rough with emotion. God, Samantha, I'm sorry. I should have trusted you, should have given you a chance to explain. She turned to him, fresh tears shimmering on her lashes. I'm the one who should be apologizing, Liam, huh? I lied to you, misled you. Let you think I was this, this perfect, untouchable creature, when the truth is. Nay, nay. The truth is, he cut in gently, framing her face in his warm, calloused hands. You're human. Flawed and fallible, and so damn beautiful in your brokenness. It steals my breath. He brushed his thumbs over the delicate arch of her cheekbones, wiping away the last of her tears. I love you, Samantha Ray. The real you. Scars, sins, and all. A sob caught in her throat, and she surged up on her toes to catch his lips with her own. The kiss was salt and sweetness, absolution and benediction all in one. A promise, a prayer, an unbreakable vow. They clung to each other in the middle of the empty studio, the shattered remnants of their old lives littering the floor like fallen petals. But, from the ashes, something new was rising. Something stronger, purer, forged in the fire of truth and tempered by the steel of forgiveness. Vivian's hands on her shoulders. Liam's heartbeat steady beneath her cheek. For the first time in her life, Samantha felt whole. Complete. A cracked and clouded mirror, finally reflecting true. The road ahead wouldn't be easy. Wounds still festered, scars still ached. Natalia's shadow still loomed, dark and deep. But Samantha was no longer dancing alone. She had her sister, her soulmate, and the hard-won knowledge that the most beautiful art, the most poignant poetry, was mined from the depths of the human heart, in all its messy, battered glory. Holding tight to Liam and Vivian, Samantha stepped out of the studio and into the waiting night, into a brave new world, ripe with hope and possibility. And as she walked away from the ruins of her old life, the click of her heels against the pavement felt like a promise. A new rhythm. A fresh start. A dance of her own making. At last.